What's the fastest you've ever gone from caring about someone to straight up loathing them? When I was younger I found out one of my childhood friends was stealing from me and the friendship group. Every so often we would lose a phone or iPod then said friend would have conveniently got the same model but beat it up a bit with his initials in Typex or something stupid. Being a good friend we didn't want to believe it but we started putting distinct markings on our items. Lo and behold my phone goes missing and he turns up with the same one a few weeks later with the markings. We brought him up on it but he just lost his temper and stormed off. 15 years later Hess in prison for armed robbery. Edit, obligatory that blew up rip inbox. A former friend bailed on me when we were supposed to hang out and so I called my then girlfriend to see what she was doing and I could hear him talking to her parents in the background. As fast as it took for his wife to call me at work to tell me that he was not only married, but had three children including a newborn. That is brutal. Sorry. This was when I was still in my teens many decades ago. It broke my heart until he started stalking me. My hurt turned to hate quite quickly. I'm not surprised. I hope the stalking stopped and that you subsequently found happiness. Talking to my then GF about her cheating on me. Explaining I couldn't ever possibly trust her again, and she replied but do you really need to trust me? Clearly had different ideas on what's required for a healthy relationship. Edit, for context. Relationship was six years long. We had been talking about marriage. We owned a dog together. This was the second instance of cheating. This conversation was what pushed me over the edge into the territory of self-respect. Broke up with her the next day. Much happier since. But do you really need to trust me? Lamau, duck if that is an honest communication. Like props to her for being open about her feelings, but what the duck? Ah. Uh. I have a two-for-one deal here walking in on my now ex-boyfriend having sex with my ex-best friend in my own room on my birthday party. Edit, since that's a lot of comments to reply to individually, I'm very sorry, here are some facts answered it was my 19th birthday. I did throw the bed out afterwards just because it reminded me of it daily. When I walked in, I was shocked, told him that it's over, kicked both of them out into 2C weather while they were still half-naked, and then did tequila shots with my other, non-asshole friends. I don't know what happened to them but I really don't care. It took some time to trust people again but I'm much better now. It's like they got together beforehand and brainstormed as to how they could make it as insulting as possible. They could have added a level and been ducking on her pillow. You know, for the angle. Might as well record themselves with her phone while they're at it then. Or got one of the siblings in on a three-way action. One summer back in high school years, I had a crush on this girl and we'd hang out when we weren't working together. A friend of mine would keep insisting that I should just ask her out. So I mustered my courage and asked her out. Yeah, it was a glorious fail. I still remember when she smiled and told me the truth. That was when I found out that they had been secretly dating for a year and thought it would be a lark to just duck with me. 100 to 0 in a few words and a vicious smile. Like that except friend kept insisting that I lose my virginity to my boyfriend, who she was secretly ducking the entire time we dated, and they thought it would be funny if he took my V-card. I'd really like an ask credit post where these kind of people explain what the hell is going through their thick skulls and how in the world they think this is funny edit, found one here edit too, guys, please be civil. There are some people threatening the commenters, that's not okay. Friend at a bar tells some people we just met how her mother died, Later in the night I express my sympathy, now she's without parents. She told me hush hush a few years prior about how father had passed. Wait did I tell you back then my dad died? I thought I told you it was my mom. No, both my parents are still alive, when we were in uni I just read in a book telling people a parent has died is in good way to get sympathy, ha ha. Ducking sociopath. What an utter poss. Reminds me of a guy from my school who was in my acting class and he used to pretend to break down and cry then when asked what was wrong would say my mom dad died and after gathering a fair crowd he'd laugh it off and say it was a joke. Yeah man hilarious. He did this multiple times with multiple groups of people. Reminds me of the emotional vampire from what we do in the shadows. I loved, still love, playing Pokemon and I had no female friends with the same interest. Found out about this group of guys that played it after school. Got really excited and made plans with them. I waited for hours and they never showed up. 
Next day I overhear my best childhood friend laughing about how annoying I was and that they had to hide from me to play in peace. That really hurt. There was a girl, who was the photographer at my wedding. We had been friends for a bit, being the only female motorcycle riders in our group. I started to get the feeling that she and a few other friends were talking shit on me and my husband. Just weird vibes, FB comments that all seemed to be referencing me. I had just moved to a new state away from these friends and so all of that was very overwhelming. I blocked the friends and went on with my life. A few months later, I made a post on a female group and she commented on it she said she could see I had deleted her but she hoped I was well. I decided to message her and just say sorry I guess. We'll come to find out she was talking shit on me. A lot. And she didn't care because she thought I deserved it, and it was my fault they talked shit on me for being so weird. And it was my fault I left it affect our friendship. Fuck that. Haven spoken to her since, even when we go back for events with our crew. People who talk shit on other people suck ass. One year friendship with this girl. I invited her over to my new apartment. She came over and wanted to gossip about her coworkers. When she paused, I tried to add into the conversation, make a joke, give reassurance, add a comment, etc., but she would immediately raise her voice and start talking over me. I kept getting angrier every time it happened until I was actually loathing her internally. She was so self-absorbed that she didn't notice I went from smiling engaged to frowning while staring off into space. After two plus hours of not being allowed to talk, I made up an excuse to kick her out of the apartment and then vowed to never see her again. Sounds like one of my current friends. Only has time to talk about herself, doesn't care for my opinions unless it somehow contains her. Only asks about my life after she's run out of things to complain about. My ex-girlfriend. We were childhood sweethearts. Dated from 17 to 25. Found out she was cheating on me with her boss, who was more than twice our age. Then proceeded to find out there was many more occurrences and she was a very different person than the person I'd been dating. Shattered. The first girl I ever dated died unexpectedly on my then current GF and Mai's three year anniversary. My then GF stated she was pissed because my ex had died on purpose that day because it was our anniversary. I was utterly disgusted and it completely changed how I viewed her altogether. Things fell apart shortly after and we broke up. My best friend back in school got a F from the teacher. Me and him asked if we can go to the toilet. I go to the toilet to text a bit with friends from other school, he goes to the parking lot and scratches the teacher's car. School break and the teacher finds his car, we both get called to the director etc etc friends said that we both scratched the car. Showed the teacher my phone to show him I was texting and couldn't have scratches his car, told friend to duck off and went out. The benefits of constant texting. First time texting got you out of trouble at school. Gave my roommate an envelope with a money order for bills in it, to drop in the mail. He got arrested. While looking for some of his documents to take to whom I found the opened, empty envelope in his closet. Peace out. Hey, I was looking for your stuff, but all I found was another charge the police can pile on top. Found out this girl I was getting close to had been lying about her ex being a deadbeat dad and well, her ex. He wasn't just still in the picture, they lived together. I should have guessed after the third or fourth time she made an excuse to not go to her place. Never ended something so quick. When he straight up denied my existence in front of his friends. I had a lunch shift in high school where I knew absolutely no one but my brother. He absolutely denied all knowledge of who I was, even after the people he was with knew I was his brother. It was super ducking awkward. Eventually I made friends with some classmates and sat with them. My brother did this too. First day at a new secondary school. We were the first intake of girls. My briefcase, I was a cool kid, and 12 so give me a break, lock broke. The only person I knew was my brother. Went to discreetly find him to help me. He pretended he had no idea who I was. One of his friends who I also knew was the one who helped me. We don't talk much. 